Dehesa, desire for survival. La Dehesa, the daughter of two miracles. First, the miracle of resistance of its essential tree species, home oak and cork oak, with a vast plant history. They emerged in tropical forests in the mid-tertiary era, survived the glacial periods of the Quaternary, and now thrive under a different climate, warmer and drier, with very harsh temperature variations. Without them, these great plants of Southwest Europe, without the shade of their tops, the contribution of their foliage and the protection of their roots, what would be left in our latitudes would be eroded desert, without any fertile soil. Its very survival is the second miracle of the Dehesa. For millennia and up to the last centuries, we humans here have not destroyed we have not exterminated wildlife. We have adapted, we have domesticated and planted, we have renewed the goods, and we have created a balance with the ecosystem that must be durable. In 1992, the European Union recognized the singularity of this impressive natural area, which extends across over 3.5 million hectares and is concentrated mainly in the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula. Two-thirds of this surface are located in Spain, where it is called Dehesa, and a third corresponds to Portugal, where the name is Montado. In Spain, the region with the greatest contribution, almost one and a half million hectares, is Extremadura. In these territories, economic progress relies on the prosperity of the Dehesa. It is not only a highly sustainable forest exploitation, although its pruning provides wood or charcoal, and cork oats feed our cork industry. Nor is it just an agricultural and livestock exploitation, or a forest generous in hunting species. It harmoniously combines its three aspects in a diversified and rich production cycle. It feeds cattle and sheep that the dairy and meat industries are linked to, and the only acorn-fed pigs in Europe are bred in the Dehesa. In addition, new forms of profit linked to cultural and artistic heritage become a source of opportunities for tourism and leisure in contact with nature. That is why it must be defended. It suffers from terrible pests and diseases, but the greatest danger lies in the misuse of its resources. The abandonment of traditional sustainable management with erroneous agricultural and livestock policies has led to an intensive exploitation that prevents the natural regeneration of this woodland, which clears and ages under overgrazing. A deterioration that fortunately is still reversible. Because the Dehesa is not only our economic driving force, it is also home to a beautiful and valuable fauna and flora. It is populated by large and small mammals, astonishing and elusive birds, fish that only know these low water rivers. In Spain, it represents about 33% of the Natura 2000 network, whose directives protect most of the species that live in this ecosystem. as a desire. In the first place, as a desire for survival of all the living beings that coexist in it. The Dehesa as a desire. In second place, as a desire of the human beings who depend on it. Finally, the Dehesa as a promise of sustainability, a reservoir of natural wealth, clean air, pure water, fertile soil that sustains biodiversity and that also sustains our own existence. She is the daughter of two miracles and she is simply our mother. 
mother of the harmony of human beings, an irreplaceable piece of an excessively threatened biosphere. The Dehesa, quoting a poet, is a peaceful weapon loaded with the future.